today I want to talk about the do's and don'ts of meditation. Number one, expectations. Get rid of them. Toss them out the door. You don't need them. We're so used to, in every aspect of our lives, we put these expectations on ourselves. We're very hard on ourselves. We expect perfection from ourselves. We want to measure achievements and goals and track our progress. And in meditation, you know, we're just putting all that aside and we're just being <laughs> a radical concept. And so super important to just be aware of that kind of thinking that oh, this is pointless and oh, this isn't doing anything and I'm not doing it right and I'm thinking too much. All those thoughts just, they'll be there, but they don't need to be. So like, don't listen to them and just allow whatever comes in any moment to be in meditation and in life. We just allow what is to be. And that is the not resisting with the universe that creates this peace. Number two, do make a consistent habit of meditation every day at the same exact time and do not miss it no matter what. That is the greatest do of meditation I can think of because it's all about consistency. It doesn't matter if you meditated for 10,000 hours, but then you haven't done it for 30 years. You got to do it every day. And this way, every single day, you will be nurturing the ability to experience joy greater and greater so that every single day can be the greatest day of your life even better than the last day because you you meditated even more and you have learned to go even deeper into peace and joy and this love for life so make it a habit don't be too hard on yourself so many people they try meditation and they you know if they can't sit still for an hour without thinking then they think it's not for them and they quit I don't know anybody that can go an hour without thinking, even the best Buddhist monks I know. So just try one minute, try 30 seconds at first, but make it stick, progress over time. Don't be too hard on yourself. Don't be too easy on yourself and take that middle path. Similar to the last tip, don't be too hard on yourself with your seating posture. You don't have to sit on the floor, uh, lotus pose, you can sit in a chair, you can sit in a couch, you can prop your head up and your back up against the headboard of your bed with some pillows and you know, do what's comfortable for you. There's no wrong position. And you know, if you wanna be a yogi and sitting in yoga pose one day, then work yourself towards that slowly. But most importantly, do what is sustainable and know yourself to know what that is. So, you know, if you've lived your whole life sitting in chairs and you sitting on the floor is weird, sit in a chair, you know, over time you can move to the floor, but just know your body, know your limits and don't be too hard on yourself. Thank you so much. I hope that helps. Those are all our tips and do's and don'ts for meditation today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and check out our other videos on meditation and peace and love.